Hello and welcome. My name is Thomas Dyer and I'm a product specialist at InterSystems in the Data Platforms Group. In this session, we're going to learn about Integrated ML, a new feature of InterSystems IRIS Data Platform that enables analysts and developers to build and use machine learning models using elegant SQL syntax. At the end of this session, you should know what Integrated ML is and how it brings machine learning into your applications be able to train and invoke a machine learning model using SQL. We'll go over three main topics about integrated ML, training predictive models, evaluating model accuracy, and using model predictions. I'll then show a quick demo, and all together, this will give you a great start in using integrated ML in your own projects. Before we dive right into integrated ML, I want to describe a little bit about machine learning which is a very broad and deep field, so we're only going to barely scratch the surface. But I think it's helpful to think about machine learning as contrasted to traditional programming, shown on the left, where you write programs that, when run, produce some output based on input data. Machine learning, on the other hand, is a family of mathematical techniques that operate on structured or tabular data, or unstructured data such as images, as well as the output or the answer. By sifting through many rows of historical data, a machine learning algorithm trains or builds a model or program that captures the regularities in the data, the mapping between the input data and the output. So now you can feed unseen data to the model, which it will use the patterns that it learned during training to predict what the output should be. If that output is the future state of the world, you now have a way to predict the future. Good models can be very powerful tools in business to explore what-if scenarios and predict important things such as future sales. Within the broad family of algorithms constituting machine learning, integrated ML is a tool that brings AutoML to SQL. AutoML, or automated machine learning, is a family of techniques that automates the steps that a data scientist uses to choose particular models or algorithms, also includes steps such as feature engineering, which transforms human-centric data types, such as dates and strings, into numeric or categorical data types that machine learning algorithms can use. This process from feature engineering to model training, selection and tuning is iterative, and AutoML techniques automate this process it bakes in data scientists' best practices to build good models with little or no input from users. This sounds great, right? Say I have some data in a database, all I have to do is extract it and run an AutoML program, and I can get a model that I can use to predict the future, take over the world, right? Well, not so fast. Of course, you have to install Python or R and some data science frameworks tools and figure out how to use them. And sure, you can extract the data, but now you have multiple places where that data is. It brings up versioning and chain of custody concerns. Also, once I build that model, how do I actually use it in my analytics and business applications? These are the types of problems that integrated ML is meant to solve. Integrated ML is a feature of InterSystems IRIS data platform it brings the best of breed AutoML frameworks to developers and analysts with elegant SQL syntax. All functionality is exposed via SQL. It's turnkey, meaning that when you install Iris with integrated ML, you get machine learning frameworks such as Scikit-Learn, TensorFlow, XGBoost, H2O, all pre-configured. So your machine learning happens right where your data lives. And integrated ML is focused on deployment or calling models and getting predictions right in your application, again using simple SQL syntax. All the plumbing that data scientists and engineers construct to actually use predictive models within applications is handled, it's automated by integrated ML. Now, it's not meant to replace data scientists. There are many subtleties involved in really understanding data, evaluating machine learning model performance, and applying machine learning in a business context. Rather, integrated ML is a tool that can provide analysts and developers a place to get started and experiment with machine learning without bothering those scarce data scientists. 
by leveraging AutoML, which automates some of the drudge work of feature engineering, deployment, etc. Organizations that can optimize their resources, get some models built, try out some ideas, and further elaborate with data science resources as the project progresses. In the end, though, the models are managed and reside within IRIS, along with the data that's the lifeblood of your business. So let's look at how you use integrated ML. I'm going to be using a healthcare example. We're going to predict readmissions, which is the phenomenon where a patient is admitted to a hospital, receives care, gets discharged, but then is readmitted for a preventable complication or a related condition. It's a big problem for our healthcare system in the United States, and hospitals are very motivated to reduce the occurrence of preventable readmissions because it is a quality measure that can lead to financial penalties. I'm going to switch over here to a Jupyter no Notebook where we can look at some data that was extracted from a hospital. You can see we have 10,000 rows, about 40 columns. Each row represents a hospital visit. There are columns with information about the patient, its current and past diagnoses, and a very important column called MX will readmit. And that column is true if the patient was readmitted less than 30 days from this visit. The objective of the machine learning model will be to accurately predict the value of this column. For this historical data, we know the answer. But the real value of the model is realized when you use it to predict the future given just the information that you have at the time of discharge. The first step in using integrated ML is to choose a provider. Providers in integrated ML are modular components that provide the interface between IRIS and AutoML frameworks, and they perform the actual machine learning work. In this first version of integrated ML, we ship three providers. We have our default AutoML that is implemented in Python and uses shared memory and IRIS's new embedded Python capability, expose data from our platform to the ML algorithms. This default provider is designed to give good results in a small amount of time, a few knobs or settings. The H2O provider, on the other hand, wraps the open source H2O3 AutoML software. The H2O provider has more configurable settings, so it is meant for users that want to get in and modify low-level settings, try to squeeze the most performance out of their data. Our third provider integrates Data Robot a leading automated machine learning company. DataRobot provides a full AutoML platform with a user interface to explore the trained models and also provides model explanations for individual predictions or to tell you which variables are important to the model overall and also has a rich suite of model deployment and monitoring capabilities. In this case, I'm just going to go with the default provider, our AutoML engine. And I'm going to show you a little syntax here. Just set ML configuration is how you switch between providers. Now the next step in using integrated ML is to create a model. Now this doesn't do any data crunching. It's a DDL statement similar to create table that sets up the structure of a table in SQL. But in this case, it sets up the structure of a machine learning model. It takes as arguments the name of the model and a column that you're going to be used as a target column or the output, as well as the inputs that you want to use and some default data to train on. And these last two items come at the end of the statement in a from clause. So the actual machine learning happens with the train model statement. By default, it's going to use that table that was specified in the create statement, but it's very simple to switch out train another training data set, and you can also modify the training data set with a where clause. For this data set, it takes a few minutes to train. As I mentioned, integrated ML is all SQL. Anywhere you can use SQL, you can use integrated ML and AutoML. And this applies also to how users get information about models in the training process. You find that information in our system catalog called Information Schema. And here's some SQL you can use to find out about training runs. And there's tables with information about models as well as validation metrics, which we're going to talk about next. So once training is finished, you might want to get an idea of how well the model works 
And that way we have a separate SQL statement to calculate accuracy metrics. Validate model calculates some typical accuracy metrics and you can pass it an arbitrary data set to evaluate on. To run validate model, you specify the name of the model and the evaluation data set. Then you can query the table. I'm going to use a bit of Python here to pivot the results, make them easier to read. But you can see the metrics here. Not too bad, not too great, but good enough for now. Okay, so we've trained a model and we think it's ready to be dropped into an application. So how do we actually use this model? This is a time where often a data scientist will throw the model they've built over the wall to data engineers and application developers and leave it up to them to stitch it into their applications. Often something gets lost in translation between the different environments where data scientists work using Python and notebooks on the one hand and where developers work with code on the other. Integrated ML tries to bridge this gap by managing the deployment process as a byproduct of training. Once you train a model, it is deployed in IRIS, and you can use it in a select statement with a very simple predict function. Predict, by default, takes all the columns of the select result set and matches them with the specification of the model. And if your current table uses different naming conventions for the columns than what you trained it with, there's a with option to rename columns. This would be very helpful when you don't have control over the database schema, which is often the case in a lot of companies. As you can see with this statement, you can put the predict function anywhere in your SQL. In a where clause, you could pick out examples from a data set where the prediction didn't match the answer. And you might want to use that type of query to, to understand which types of hospital visits or which types of patients actually give the model some difficulty. One possible real-world application of this model would be to, on a daily basis, look at the patients that have been discharged or are about to be discharged from the hospital and use the model to select and filter them by their likelihood of being readmitted. This list of patients could then be prioritized for interventions and follow-up to help ensure they get the care they need and potentially avoid them developing serious complications. So to summarize, I've shown you what integrated ML is and how it enables SQL developers to leverage machine learning. I've shown you how to actually use it with dead simple SQL to train and invoke models, generate predictions. If you would like to learn more, Contact your inner systems team or myself and check out the links here. Thank you so much for your time today.